Hey everyone, I'm Keith Miller and I want to talk to you about how successful couples fight. Why? Because there's a bit of mythology about fighting. The idea that you only have a successful relationship if there's no conflict or if you don't have anger. Turns out that's not really true in practice and we've studied this with very successful couples over decades. And I can tell you from my 20 years of clinical experience, it turns out that successful couples do fight. They do get angry. They even hurt each other. It's not about having peace all the time. It's about how you handle that hurt and how you deal with it. Successful couples even have gridlock on any number of issues where they just never will agree on it. But the key to success is movement and fluidity. And what does that mean? Well, number one, it means successful couples are sensitive to disconnection and they try to repair. I mean, even if you do it for selfish reasons, right? Someone has to take care of this middle space called the relationship. It's like, this is the place where you drink from. Take care of the well and don't pollute it. If you stop giving and compromising, life gets a lot harder. Getting what you want from your partner gets harder and harder. Number two is successful couples take care of themselves and they let each other off the hook. One person who took my seven week course, which I'll talk about in a second, that teaches people how to really get a hold of all of the parts of you that are reacting to your partner, he said he never even thought of being kinder to himself when he hurts his partner. Now think about that for a minute. A lot of us, you know, this makes sort of sense that you would you would not want to be angry with your partner. You would maybe feel shame about it. Maybe you would even avoid admitting or acknowledging that you have contempt or uh, fear or mistrust towards your partner. But self-compassion, taking care of yourself, means that you can actually get a hold of those parts of you, get clearer that, that these exist, and then deal with them. The key to empathy with others is self-compassion. Number three is successful couples know how to have fun. Uh, early in my marriage, I used to resemble kind of like a chisel and, a, and I would chip and whittle and try to drill into issues that needed to be resolved between my wife and I because I thought that's what a successful relationship was, resolving things all the time. And you know what? Sometimes that works, but the, the chisel and drill analogy, that's just like depressing and it can really hurt. Knock it off. So put down the hammer and pick up the guitar. And maybe that sounds cheesy, but look, you've got to do what you've got to do to stay loose and joyful and live in the moment and appreciate who you have and what you have right in front of you. So if you're married with kids, get more babysitters, get more dates. If you're not having sex regularly, figure out what's going on. It's time to get it on and get turned on. That's low hanging fruit, let me tell you. Um, it's fun to have sex. Successful couples find time for fun, even if they have to schedule it. Yeah, even scheduling sex. We can talk about that in another episode. So look, I want to tell you about the seven week course because I offer these types of skills in a very structured mindfulness based stress reduction course for couples, which I teach live online. We meet once a week for two hours and you get to review the curriculum and get a, a webinar instruction and then also exercises to do live in class with your partner. Or even if your partner's not there, you can still take the class. A lot of folks have done this solo and they still get a lot from it because the course is designed actually to work on yourself and then build into relationship skills. And so you can do this totally by yourself, but it's great if you can do it with your partner. Check out more about the course. It's called Mindful Marriage. You can go to the website souloflifeshow.com forward slash mindful hyphen marriage and learn more.